A very good morning to you. I hope you're good and I hope that life is treating you well. I hope you slept good. I hope you're looking forward to a beautiful today. Welcome. This is 90.3 FM, Voice of the People, VOP, the front page review starting now. You know, you could watch us online. That will be at VOP 903 FM. Then I'll be giving you the numbers to call later on. But first, we have to look at the papers we are looking at today. But my first proverb is a simple proverb that we all can just think about. If you want to know the end, look at the beginning. Because sometimes the beginning can tell you what the end is going to be like. As we look at the papers today, let's see. Should we worry about any of the things we'll be talking about? The beginnings are they looking good. So let's start off as I bring you the very first. I'll be looking at the Guardian. The Guardian newspaper will be the first we'll be looking at this morning on the front page review. And just to remind you that later on, Rufai will be joining me to, you know, take a, a quick review of some of them. Now, bank owners lobby seek adjustment in share capital composition. We have uh, some of the writers here. Nigeria may witness fewer banks by March 31, 2026. Monetary tightening may continue to check inflation as prices remain sticky. And uh, Tier 1 banks need to source for 1.5 trillion Naira to bridge the capital shortfall. And uh, we also have other headlines because that was a major one. We have other ones. Naira's defense, debt servicing gulp 1.4 trillion Naira as foreign reserves dip. Gavi Alliance initiates $1 billion program to boost vaccine production in Africa. Electricity tariff, electricity tariff hike, FCCPC, others pressure FG to revert decision. I'm focusing on fixing Nigeria's problems, not LP's internal crisis says obi yusuf knocks ganduje over criticism of administration if you read that story it tells us that uh, yusuf is saying my eight months is better than the eight years that you spent that was riddled with corruption and so on and so forth apc leaders allege plots to disrupt on those primaries our metering will enhance investment transparency in power sector and finally Criminals in camouflage, how rising impersonation of operatives complicates internal security. Well, you can check out all these reports front page of the Guardian newspaper for today. Now, let's take a look at the Daily Times. Uh, we have above the mass, we have this one. Media bodies, CSOs demand probe into Shegun Olatunji's detention prosecution of perpetrators and uh, the major headline anti-party activities pdp in dilemma over wiki others rider this upcoming neck is a mick omar meeting for the party shagun Shomi is quoted we have other headlines front page i'm not quitting lp ob replies nlc and this is a fallout of uh, things happening there mr Pitobi, the 2023 presidential candidate of the labor party said on sunday that he would rather work to ensure peace for the party to overcome its present challenges than leave it he said other things read to find out naf naf air strikes hit yard samia in katsina gazai in bornu says spokesman Minister urges swift investigation of Kogi massacre, resolution of communal disputes. NDLEA arrests Indian bound passenger who has created 80 wraps of cocaine. Wow. People still do this. Now, wow. Lagos Calabar Highway Project, another of Tinubu's shady deals. This is according to Atiku. If you read that particular story, we have it in various papers. He's complaining that no transparency. We need to know what is going on. That this project had been on um on the i mean in the pipeline since the days of jonathan till now what is truly going on and umai is not giving clear details of monies to be spent read up the full story 
Okay, now let's take the nation newspaper. Above the mast, we have um, this one. I need to learn how to pronounce this name. Ola Kulei. Ola Kulei. Ola, you put music inside your own. Ola Kulei. Ola Kulei. Intrigues as Ulubado in council decides monarch's fate. Uh, the rider, scheming between Ladoja, others takes center stage. PDP, Atiku Wike forces battle for control ahead NEC meeting. Rider, party holds World Congress for Ondo gubernatorial election tomorrow. And the major headline for the nation, economy, experts predict mid-year drop in prices and it has the following riders blaming security interest rates middlemen sabotage for prevailing high prices lagos threatened to find short supermarkets without products price tags naira appreciation we are posting heavy losses bdc's cry out all these are captured in that story where we're hoping that mid-year prices will definitely drop after all the skyrocketing we're seeing right now impeachment boy tipped to replace shaibu as a do dep governor tariff discos gets april 11 deadline to refund customers i'm one of them i'm one of those you're going to refund i'm waiting lifting the lead on kaduna's debt controversy stakeholders demand answers on what the money was spent on 20 billion loan drain states igr 350 million dollar urban renewal project uncompleted 400 million naira monthly outlay from faac for power plant and finally from the nation truck crashes two brothers to death in ondo very sad and those were taken from the nation and um I'll take a couple of uh, the stories soon, but get ready. We'll be analyzing some of those headlines, and you'll be free to call right after Rufai. Let's start with um, above the mass headlines for the Punch newspaper. OPS takes power tariff hikes protest to Tinubu. OPS takes power tariff hikes protest to Tinubu. $2.3 billion Siemens Power Project Transformers substations arrive nigeria dollar video release report of ganduje's probe kanu tells efcc and we'll have a picture there of ganduje smiling gallantly let's see how long that will be and we have editor's abduction npan nge nuj demand probe threatens lawsuit and the major headline for the punch newspaper FG plans three national ID uh, ID cards for 104 million Nigerians by June. NIMS awaits presidential approval for May lunch. Says procurement will be seamless. Nigerians should get different cards for banking, social intervention, ECOWAS activities. Salah, FG declares Tuesday, Wednesday holidays as Sinubu arrives Lagos. Unfortunately for us, we don't have no holiday here. We go see Conwa Kabi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, relocation. Lagos terminates multi-billion Naira Katangua market contract. Female London Lagos solo driver gets heroic welcome. Well, she was met at the border, been a Nigerian border, and the welcome was beautiful. The commissioner for tourism Lagos was there to welcome her the crowd was massive and she said she did it just to introduce more people to the beautiful west africa congrats belumi indian bound trafficker vomits excretes 80 cocaine wraps in lagos airport those are the headlines from the front page of the punch newspaper i'm going to take one more and uh, uh, go in depth a bit before we start the review if you're just joining us, you're w listening to VOP 90.3 FM and you're watching same on YouTube. Now, let's take on Daily Trust. Daily Trust newspaper above, um, okay, everything is below the mast here. We have Atiku tackles Tinubu over Lagos Calabar Highway Project. Sibian sacks another 40 staff. Israel pulls troop out of southern Gaza. Major headline. Nigerians in UAE stranded over work permit visa ban. 
we have uh, the riders here lose over 200 jobs face discrimination discussions ongoing to resolve issues ministers aid they should return home to build nigeria uh, okay palliatives nine die in stampede in wamako's house we have some other uh writers here or oh, headlines military neutralizes terrorists who killed soldiers in Bornu. media bodies cso's demand investigation into editor's detention and sultan asks muslims to look out for shawal moon today all right um that will be that but let's quickly uh look at this one where we say that yusuf knocks uh, ganduji as by his comments for criticizing his administration and from a, a statement that was brought out recently issued by the spokesperson uh, the governor insisted that ganduji presided over two unproductive tenures and they say in quotes our eight months in office have remarkably outweighed ganduji's eight wasted years of political caricature and maladministration by all standards chai big big english well let's see how the probe will go and they are asking efcc to release the uh probe that they've carried out uh since for us to know exactly how it all played out and for the guardian we have this one where atiku is saying um okay not that one road to capitalization that was the one i was about to bring right now this road to capitalization bank owners lobby seek adjustment in share um capital composition and there is a worry that they may want to ask for some things to be lessened and but the said or rather but the central bank of nigeria cbn uh sources said had secured the full support of the president bola Tinubu to go on with the exercise and is resolute in persecuting the program as contained in the blue print we'll be joining rufai now and he's there already good morning rufai hi morning how are you i'm very well how are you doing all right good i'm sure you had a very good weekend yeah bless god amen all right so uh which of the stories would you like to start with so i'd like to start with the story as regards um the coastal road which yeah. has been causing a lot of problem and i like you to go back and raise some very pertinent questions i mean apart from the normal political brick paths that they would normally throw amongst us which i don't support the tonality of language but we should ask some critical questions. That project at first was first considered by the Jonathan administration. They couldn't do it. The project was about $11.6 billion. The Boyer administration tried to put a hand on it, but they also couldn't do it. Yeah. They said they had revalued the cost of about $11.1 billion. All of a sudden, President Tinubu comes in and he says, oh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this project and all of that. But we should also ask, what was the independent bidding process? How come did they arrive at high-tech construction to be able to do that project? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not seeing anywhere where there was an open bid that due process was gone through. It was just high-tech was going to take it on. And also the cost of doing the project. If you are saying about 47 kilometers of that is going to cost a trillion. So how much are you saying is going to be the grand project cost? What yeah. is the due diligence? Is that the best price possible we could have gotten for this project? And Rufai, and Rufai go ahead? Uh, yes. can, uh, there's this other thing that Atiku raised here that uh, this thing had been put forward by um, May that this is a private, public private initiative that they, they didn't need any money from the government. They were going to build, run, then return. That that was yeah. one reason why they said, okay, there was so, no this and that. But so, then so, you return with a bill of, of about $11.1 billion dollars that give, they need this money to do the work. So the contradiction is a bit um, weird. So and that's why they should tell us more. Umahi, the Minister of uh, Works, just went ahead and said, well, ICEC is going to do this. They're going to start work. They're getting on site. For me, you're also going to be destroying a lot of you know people's real estate and secondly also mm -hmm. businesses around there i mean we've been talking about landmark at yeah landmark i yeah. understand the fact that he thought the deal was supposed to be a bot but 
probably when you look at the sustenance of that, it's quite difficult because nobody, you know, will be able to build a BOT at a time like this because there are going to be uncertainties in the economy and people want to recoup their money. But most important thing is, why will the project cost that much? For 47 kilometers of road, they are having close to a trillion. So they've been nebulous about the total cost. And it, if the total stretch is supposed to be about 700 kilometers, why that amount for just yeah. 47 kilometers of the 700 kilometers? And so is that these, these this numerous? Yeah, yeah, that this initial part is just basically here in Lagos from uh, around Eco Atlantic, and they refer to it as Chaguri's Eco Atlantic, and the Chaguri's own high tech too. From there till about uh, uh, not around uh, what do you call it around a way or less that 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 whole that length, very small length, is costing that much. Yeah, but that's the sad reality, and that's why we need to ask questions because if we don't ask questions. We beg your pardon, we don't Bless go you. anywhere. All right. So if we don't ask questions, we don't go anywhere. So we should be able to ask that. Okay, what's going to be the full cost of this project in the end? Mm. What's going to be the full attendant cost? The cost-benefit analysis. At the time, we complain that we need money to run our economy. Now we are pulling out electricity subsidy and everything. Is it that project we should be embarking on? Because, you see, the reason why former administrations you know, back on even when we're in a good financial state, was because of the money involved. Yeah. I mean, when Jonathan Eck had that deal with CEC, the Chinese Contractual Company, it was because of the quota of the money involved. So, all of a sudden, this same government that we're saying we're ready to shell out about a trillion for 47 kilometers of road, and now you're already, you know, destroying investments. Because, take for instance, landmark. Landmark employs close to 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. It's close to 3,000 people. Do you know the businesses that will be gone and wiped up? And it's not only Landmark they are there. That place has been turned into a big ecosystem. So yeah. I know a lot of people that what they do is that they go there, partner with the Oniru family, set up a big ecosystem, and they you know do a share agreement kind of thing. All of that ecosystem will be wiped out. The up employment, direct employment, on that big stretch alone, it's close to over 10,000 people. The indirect employment is going to over 50,000 people. Hmm. And you want to go ahead and stop all of that for an uncertainty for an over bloated contract. So I think we need to be able to ask questions. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to ask questions. And I think as well, apart from the political theatrics and the language, and I mean, there are many things that were said also that, you know, I don't like to go into that because of life yeah. and, and litigation circumstances, but the substance of the matter is we should ask. Secondly, yeah. another story I like to talk about is the electricity tariff. Mm -hmm. Over the weekend, I went to make more research, and I discovered that government is just trying to rip off Nigerians. So there's something called a medium-term expenditure planning for NERC that NERC releases and says, okay, what's going to be the projected cost, reflective tariff, for different discos for cost of electricity. NERC did that, and I'm talking about when I say NERC, National Electricity Regulatory Commission. Yeah. NERC did the analysis recently. Then, and they benchmarked the rate of dollar to be 1,483. And they discovered that to be able to pay the cost reflective tariff, consumers will have to pay 180 naira. In the highest band, that's band E, mm -hmm. we have to pay the cost reflective tariff. So, when this same NERC now came out to say that their initial calculation should not be followed, then you know they are deceiving Nigerians. Because all of a sudden, you people calculating for $1,400, at rate of $1,400, if you look at the purchase of gas, and you are saying to people, that something that's supposed to cost 1,189 uh, uh, per kilowatt hour is now over 200, 235 or 220 something per kilowatt hour. And that's wrong. So that's a research I made. And secondly, the government has constantly lied to Nigeria. So I'll tell you how. A couple of years ago, go and check it. There's a new story to the effect that says that the government said they are pulled out the electricity subsidy. So were they lying? Anyway, <laughs> government likes lying. Just like they lied to us that they are pulled off for subsidy. 
and we are now seeing that now they are even paying more than what they were paying before in subsidy. I mean, we all remember how it happened. Mm. Abu Ali lied to us at first. And maybe it's misinformation. You know? They misinformed us. I mean, misinformation <laughs> not be not be not be bobo. That bobo now. Uh, you give a so, fine name now. Give no, a because, fine name. Because, because they say because senior, not the life. Senior, not the life. No go. The seniors. <laughs> senior, that, not the life. That was how. Ah yeah. Now, now what did they kill Africa go for that? <laughs> That was how they went ahead to say when Boy just came in that oh subsidy is a fraud, it's a scam, we are not paying subsidy. At first, NFP is best couch it under recovery. Mm. Before they now finally said oh, it was subsidy. So these are the places we now need to mm. look at. You know, they're asking at- for <laughs> refunds, you know, that they should give um what do you call it? Uh customers their money back. Be I for one, I oh, bought yes. I bought uh units and I got less than half and I yes. called customer care eventually. I was like, What what the what happened? They said, eh, as at the time you bought, you were still in band A, eh, but we have downgraded now, eh? I said, no, Okay, so give me my money back. Money they said, Oh no, eh, no, it you already see, eh? So I'm a scapegoat. This was where I wished my brother and my very good friend Babatuli Rikara was still leading the consumer, you know, say, uh, what's it called, CCPC and federal competition. I know he will have taken them to court. No mind their government agency. He will have taken them to court to fight for the consumer. Because you see, this is how they rip off consumers. I tell you. No consumer service in this country. Mm-hmm. You know, so these are the lies they normally tell. And these are the lies we need to start discountenancing because these things are wrong. Okay. And when they are wrong, they are wrong. So They're let's wrong. ask them the question. As regards, they themselves said cost reflective tariff was going to be a certain amount, was going to be, uh, what's it called? 180. Why are they charging over 200 now? Secondly, I would also like to talk about, MF let's try again, it's about to start this week. They said of foreign, foreign exchange and all of that. See, the man has a right to his constitutional rights. I just hope we're not going to have another drama where a bill will be granted and forces of different uh, elements of state will be dragging him like they did in that show of shame in the in the court in Lagos a couple of months back. Mm. Mm. Because that's going to be a sad one. Okay, uh, time is almost gone uh, so that you can move on to all the things. I think we should look at this. I need a new wallet. I need a new wallet that has more compartments for cards because the FG is planning three national id cards for 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 us about 104 million nigerians by june and nims is uh, saying that oh they are ready they will be different cards for banking social intervention ECOWAS activities and i'm like ah, how many cards do we need people in the west how many cards do they have as per um social security and all that I'm sure I'm not the only one wondering at this news. Truth has to be said. The government is largely inefficient. You don't need a lot of cards. All you need to do is all your data touch points, link them to the name, national identity number. Halas. In India, there's something called ADAR system. The ADAR number is your unique number. Even with your payment, your registration and everything, even in part of local travel, you just use and present your ADAR number. So you can also even sync them to global data banks. If we properly utilize the number, it should get to a stage that Nigerian citizens should not even carry a passport to travel. Once you get to any data entry point around the world, all you just need to present is your need number that will contain all your biometric. And you will share the database with travel points all over the world and they'll be able to see it. And everything can even be loaded on your need page. You can put your medical records there. Mm. You can put everything there. So there's a way you can encrypt that all your medical records, even some of the time, if you even want to load up your bank card and everything, it's a cheap or a biometric system. You can just put on it mm. so that your number is with you anywhere you go. Even in a case of accident emergency, if somebody can call up your need number, they will be able to know your blood type so that they know how to give you blood. All of these things is technology synergy. Yeah. 
And these are possibilities of things you can do. So you do not need a lot of cards. Cards are useless these days. Mm. In this day and age where people are already talking about chips, all you just need is to be able to have that number by such a way that you can incorporate more data points in that number. You can incorporate your BVN in that data point number for your need. I that's agree. just what we need to do so you don't need you know multiple points 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 and all of that all you just need is a viable system that incorporates all and i think that's the idea we should be looking at i mean yeah and i, I, and I think that I, went to america in the mm-hmm. 70s yes all right i went to america in the 70s a very good friend of mine top journalist in Nigeria. i went to america in the 70s as a student the social security number i was given in the 70s that's what i still using till today anytime it goes into america and it goes anywhere wants to do anything they just ask him for a social security number and he presents it to them. And from that, they have all his records. You know? Uh, and I think NIMS, for instance, should focus on making her, her system foolproof, make the system more robust because most times or sometimes you hear, oh, the system is down. Oh, this. Oh, some things have been compromised. Because, I think we should focus have, on that. Because they have not also invested. It's not the same name that went to open Nigeria's data to third parties. Uh, it's a wonder. It for manipulative reasoning. So we need to do more on data security, data privacy, and data protection. Because finally, data is all that we've got. Okay, finally, my brethren. <laughs> Let's look at this one. Obi says, I'm focused on fixing Nigeria's problems, not LP's internal crisis. And he also said, no, I'm not leaving. No, I'm staying in this party. But we must find a way of making it better than what it is right now. Uh, this will be the last story we'll look at before I let you go. Your take on this? I mean, the politician will make his decision at his own time. But if Obi said he's, he's, he's has no intention of leaving and all of that, but the Labour Party has to be pleased because it's things as we speak today, it's a mess. Mm. So I think a lot of things, with politicians, a lot of things will, 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 will calibrate properly. Mm. Yeah. So You know, that is why to be a politician may not be easy for me because even WhatsApp group, once they start to quarrel, they are the come out. Not I to talk imagine. of not to talk of party that so tea and nah, ah don't come on sis. Go for my own. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rufa. I have a beautiful day That's and see you tomorrow. God willing. Bless you so much. God bless okay, you. Okay, do not be free if I don't tell you. Actually, today is my birthday. Happy I'm taking some birthday time off day. I'm to taking some time off to go to some charity work. So, so I just said it. Would. It will not be good if you now discover at the back and I don't tell you that. My brother, so. if you not send you. cake today, I <laughs> let me sing a song for you. Yawa no. So send cake. No tell, 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 tell my very good friend, our chairman, to, to do it on my behalf. Uh, he has he heard you already. One. We wish you a very <laughs> happy birthday and I'm sure all your fans Thank here you. too are wishing you the best and we pray God to bless you. And I pray that by your next birthday, you don't marry. Amen. Oh, hey, amen. Hey, amen. I can say you won't argue. Amen. amen. No, no, no. Uh, no I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Happy birthday. God bless, bless you. you. Thank you. Bless All right. Bye bye. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Rufai. And I joined the host of heaven in wishing you the very best. Nine zero point three FM, Voice of the People. That's what you're listening to. I'll be opening the phone lines shortly. But I have to usually give our grand rules, our rules of engagement, so that we'll do it peacefully. Rule number one, everybody is entitled to their opinion for or against. It doesn't matter. But what is important here is that you must present your own case with a lot of uh, politeness. We all must be civil. Then when you're calling you, please turn down the volume on your radio set. You talk about the topics, not about the person or a person, and we'll be having um, 90 seconds per person. And if you're ready, I'm ready, and my timer has already started working, and I have you. We can take the very first call now. Hello, good morning. Hello, Mrs. Cordelia. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Hi. What's my your name? name is- my name is Ibrahim from Laza. All right, Ibrahim. One of your fans on radio since 1990, <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, I need to ring <laughs> bell for you, but the that. bell is too far. Give me the bell. Help me with the bell. I need to ring bell. <laughs> uh-uh. you f- oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, 
when I know you hear from you again, yeah, this our sister went to, you know, when I hear your first last week, I called one of my friends, like, we used to listen to you that time, yeah, and so, I hear Cordelia on the uh, <laughs> Voice uh, of the people. people. Okay, so we don't join now. People, uh, uh, Thank you. Okay, so how many minutes will I give you now? Appreciate you. Thank you. You're a good woman. You're a good Nigeria. We love you. We love your uh, Thank you. You are going to say hello to this body and continue to listen to you on this radio. Please continue to come. Okay, don't no problem. Up. Please. Tell the Shago to pay me big money. I'll continue. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Enjoy the beautiful day that God has given you today. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 0700 903 903 903. 0700 903 903 903. WhatsApp 0817 You could also make a call via WhatsApp too. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Okay, please, when you want to call, you must turn down the volume on your radio set. The person who is helping me today, not just get time for a uh, Solomo guy. So please turn down. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Morning, how are you? Where are you calling from, and your name? I'm fine, my name is Cordelia. Mm-hmm. Welcome. God what? bless you, man. We are enjoying your good work. Oh, thank you very much. What's your name? Where yeah. are you calling from? My, na- my name is Mr. Kaliku. I'm calling from Mafuluku. You're welcome. Go ahead. God bless you. Please, our government, concerning this, our tariff, said, please help us relate our message to them that they should listen to the poor. The poor Nigerians are crying and they're suff- suffocating. Please. And I want to use this opportunity also, Madam Cordelia, to draw your attention. So I work in Daleko as a driver. And soldiers are coming to carry our rights. So just come like that, we need to carry rice at random and move away. We don't know whether they are real soldiers or they are soldier uniform. Okay, you know so what, please, uh, let, let's to... not let's not drag this on the air. I want to make a suggestion now. Uh, if you can, you will come to the station, right? You will come to the station and uh, you speak with, uh, may, ask for the GM. And we would maybe assign a reporter, give them the details, and we'll do a follow-up. All right? Okay. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Take care. And all the best. Okay? I'll read some messages shortly, but let's take yours. Good morning. Hello? Hello. How are you? Your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Good morning. Uh, good morning. This is Afuma. I'm calling from Idibu. All right, go ahead. Um, uh, Madam Cordelia. Mm? I also I don't have anything to say about this uh, government or this country. What mm. I want to do is uh, I want to wish Elfide, uh, uh, the happy birthday, and I want to wish uh, Adibu the same happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, I so I believe that the two of them is the same April. May God. Give the long goodbye to society. Amen. That's Thank what you. I want to wish them. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I see sweetness now. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No, no. Eesh. Turn down the volume on the radio set before you call. Good morning. I have you on the line now. Good morning. All right. Let's read some messages. I have loads of messages here on WhatsApp. The usual conversation going on here and as usual Ola Adewale, i wish you a very good morning to all the way from atl i mean lag <laughs> good morning to you and you said what happens when one puts the cart before the horse it is to go no or uh, it is go okay i didn't get that i didn't get that after the leadership's past and present and properties belonging to nigerian people in half penny on an area all to the benefit of the ruthless leaders is beyond reason in my judgment um dixon you said pdp must show some backbone by sanctioning wiki he can't be romancing with apc and then want to be kingmaker in pdp disciplinary action will put wiki in his right place allowally you have your other messages there uh okay happy birthday to rufai best journalist in nigeria all right Thank you. Jonathan Olutunde, 
there must be violence there must be violence you say everywhere um uh, mama obasuyi koyo you say happy birthday rufai you don't hear ajayi boy uh ibrahim apc tinubu is now ruling so waiting you gain now you are happy now right i don't know who you're talking to anyway i'll take a uh, whatsapp messages shortly but i take your call good morning good morning Oh, no, good morning. <laughs> good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I can calling you from Isolo Kingdom. Uh, okay, go ahead from the kingdom. Your time starts now? Yes. Uh, today is Monday, and we must not forget uh, our sister Kut. We are all going out by the special grace of God to make good money on Monday morning. Amen. Thank you. Oh, thank now, you. Now, my point this morning, my point this morning is this: the tariff concerning the tariff. If the federal government wants to do something for Nigeria, they should do something that will benefit all the good people. Where are Walese Inka? Where are Tunde Bakari? Your daughter park is still open. Nobody to protest. Nobody to say anything. NNC, Matama, Social Society. They are all quick here. They are not even helping the country. Who will fight for us? How do we get things right in this country? It's very, very sad. So pity. I always say that if this government should survive and will do something well, they should be able to be very, very careful. Nigerians are not happy. We are not happy with the APC. Thank you very much. Thank you for your mess uh, for your call. Let's take some messages now from WhatsApp. EFCC should release the report of Gandhi J dollar scandal requested by the Kano state government. This will in, uh, indicate that no one is above the law, irrespective of status. Kano government should continue to press the prosecution of corrupt officials. May God help heal our land. Frank Nero from the U.S. Uh, good morning to you too. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Let's go and make okay. Uh, let's go make the money. Yes, I agree with your proverb this morning because beginning determines the end. I concur with Peter O.B. Let him stay in Labour Party and fix the problem instead of moving from party to party. Secondly, I commiserate with the family that lost two of their sons. May their souls rest in peace. Atiku is playing good opposition. May God bless our land. Prince Ayotek from Arena Market. One more. Good morning to you, Adeyemi Kamuru. From satellite town lagos if peter obi was in apga and there was a crisis in apga he moved and he moved to the pdp then he moved to the labor party there is now a crisis in the labor party then the empirical evidence points to the fact that peter obi may just be the problem not the parties hmm someone who cannot build hmm Someone who cannot build his own party how can he build nigeria that is why he told you he's not leaving the party He's going to stay there for them to sort the problems out. Go read the full stories. Adeyemi. All right. Uh, good morning, VOA. VOA. <laughs> this is VOP. <laughs> uh, you say I'm very, very sad. I just bought 10,000 Naira token only to find 24.80 unit, units. This is simply madness. Harry Ogada from Palm Grove. Harry. That was why I had nightmares last week ago. But call them. Call them and ask why. Don't just sit there. Call them. Let them tell you the band you belong to. And this is something you could start doing. Take note of the number of hours they give you electricity. Write it down. Then petition and petition NERC too. I called all of them. I disturbed their life. Eh? They no say somebody day. And we're back to band B. No longer band A. A looter continue. Good morning. Good morning, Madam Cordelia. Good mm -hmm. morning. Uh. How are you? What's your name? Where are you calling from, sir? Uh, my name is Undiluted Bozeman. Mm. I'm calling from Ladepo Market, Ojekule precisely. They don't the pepper you are being with this tariff. I'm on this much, you know. <laughs> I know. But you go sing pepper, you go pepper them too. You go pepper them. <laughs> All right, you go, go pepper ahead. people where they say we no go sleep, you go pepper them. <laughs> All right, so go what on. I'm saying about what I'm saying about the tariff, that is one of the paper them where they talk. Now, they are increasing the tariff of light. Why we are not seeing light? What is the need? What are they, what are they trying to tell us? 
Have Close you found out me. your band? Like, Have you found out the band you're on? I never know my band. You, you so, you, of what so don't I, what complain. To call. Don't complain. Go don't, online. Look, hold on. Uh, Go online. The lists uh, are out there for band A, for band B, band C. Look for your own. Calculate the number of uh, hours you get as uh, uh, the English don't work. Uh, calculate the number of hours you get daily <laughs> power supply. Take note of it yeah. and make your complaint officially. First to hey. IKEDC, then to NERC if IKEDC doesn't respond or if EKDC doesn't respond. So no need uh, calling to be crying again. Just follow the process. I, I tell you, okay. from band A, okay, no we are problem. back to band B in my area. So go ahead and fight your fight. All right? Okay, no, no mm. problem. Uh-oh, it went off? Oh, Okay, sorry, the network enter band F. Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Cornelia. Yeah, how are you? What's your name? Uh, well, I'm fine a little bit. There's no life since yesterday. I didn't meet like at all. They don't use... My name is Peter Monte from Shomulu. Okay. Now, Cornelia, you see this? Uh, there's no time for me to tell you my experience with NEC, with discos, with even CTC. I wrote the task, I went there, CTC gave me their lawyer, and they go with the, 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 when you go to them, they would tell you, when I told them, what, your general manager, he called with me in his office, I mean them, Mr. Ayeni, in, uh, in Alausa, when I tell these people, they tell me I should go and meet him, let him give me life. You see all these things we are talking on the radio, go outside, you know, nothing like that is working. I was asking their general manager that day. And why is it that, as we are talking now, that we are the people who doing new work, and you have to work for us? Why is it that when your men come outside, they don't behave the way you are talking? He now told me, say, my brother, I don't know, all of us went for the same training. But unfortunately, when they go outside, they decide to answer their father's name. And he could do nothing. Never should not, they should not talk of any price increase and giving you stories and dramas. They are, they are should I, do you have the word like that in the in the dictionary? Should I use it? It what? What stars? Fraudsters, people that are fraudulent. A fraudster now. So they are fraudsters. They do I had a lot of experiences with them, and then they thought, okay, give everybody three twenty and ham. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, your time. The time is up now. Okay, thank you. But I got I got your frustration. I got it there. You still have to maybe sometimes you should capture these people on camera, capture them on camera and have that share with the world and let's see what they'll say when it gets out there. Let's take your messages from WhatsApp. Um happy birthday to one of the best journalists in the whole wide world. Ogal Seni, I admire you so much. Please keep the good work going. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Cheers to many more fruitful years ahead. Andrew from Ajao, and I have yours. Good morning. I'm using this opportunity to say happy birthday to Rufa Oseni and Adaigbo. May God continue to bless them richly. Mr. Egbe from Ijegun. Okay, thank you guys very, very much. Uh, 0700 903 903 903, the number you could call to be a part of it. We still have like a 12 or so more minutes to go. 0817 three eights you could be a uh, part of it by calling any of those numbers i have yours and um, okay prince julius ehiosu you're saying happy birthday rufai and angela cisco happy birthday to our darling rufai alex kudiri maigui good morning ma'am happy birthday to boss rufai cheers to a greater year amen to that good morning Turn down the volume on your radio set. Hello? Okay, it went off. Okay, we didn't do that. It went off. So please call back. And when you're calling back, you turn down the volume on your radio set. Good morning. Hello, good morning, Cornelia. Morning. Could you speak up a little bit? You sleep well, so yeah. your voice is low. Speak up, bro. Hey. Sorry, the line went off. And maybe when you do call back, do pump it up, wipe your feet up, step in, you know, give it some more, you know, pizzazz so that we'll hear you better. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm fine. I, I turned down the volume on your radio. 
Okay. I was a son happy by then. Okay. The fire. Oh, thank a long life. Mm, thank you. May God bless you very, very much. Amen to that. Our, our feeling. There, yeah? Thank you. Okay. Thank you bye so bye. much. Bye. All right, he, he heard that. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, wishing him a very happy birthday. That is exactly what we're all wishing him this morning. And we're praying for the very, very best. And don't forget our proverb for the day. If you want to know the end, look at the beginning. It tells you maybe what to expect. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Morning. Hey, your voice low. Rise I'm small. Biko. My name is Adam Edna A.K. Welcome, Madam Edna. Go ahead. Thank you. I don't know because of light. We have not, there's no light. I don't know the, the just kids that are tricking this one. I just want to beg you. And you should beg them to give us light. And our devices, everything is done. Please help me to take the, the government or whatever that is in charge of this light. They kill us. They kill us. We are, we, 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 I don't know. Which we don't area? Have light for two days which, now. which area? Which area? Please, Mother Codella, help us to please, on our behalf, to give us light. That oh. is what I'm complaining this morning to okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sure she wanted to say happy birthday uh, to Rufa. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Cordelia. This Hi. is Joshua from Germany. Hi, how is Germany today? Oh, Germany is fine. I just want to say hello uh, to everyone. Also, uh, happy birthday to Rufai. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think in the, yeah, the area of uh, electricity, you know, a, a, a mother of two children is different from a mother of children mm. when you have a lot of children you have you have a very big pot to cook but the problem not even increasing the tariff but the problem where is the lights mm. every yeah there are two things nigeria should look at when these two things come to our life then things will start to go go better number one is the constitution number two is the uh, uh, the means of identification i have been in nigeria like two years ago i was in nigeria i couldn't do my nia because of the system is even as I'm talking to you now, here the the area they told us to go to to make the NIN, we cannot also do it because the system also is down. What what are we doing? These are the things we must do. I pray God help Nigeria. Amen. Uh, this Thank is you, Cordelia. Nice the, wait to so, same here. Yeah. Wait to so, uh, I think it's Dankishan. Abi Abi I try Abi. Yeah, Dakishon, Dakishon. Eh, more than like Jackie Dark Shan, no Shon, that is fine. Thank you. Shon. <laughs> thank you very much. Dark Have a beautiful Shon. day. Dankishon. <laughs> Hello, good morning. <laughs> Turn down the volume on your radio. Now, what's happened? This is my ear. You want to spoil it? Uh oh. Good morning. Are you there? Yeah. Please, if I don't want people to tell. Happy birthday. Uh, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. First, tell me sorry okay, because sir. your radio almost spoiled my ear. You must turn it down. I'm sorry, time. but I don't, I don't put that off. I'm sorry, my dear. If not, I will I find you. Happy birthday. Uh -huh. eh? If not, I will find okay. you extra tariff on your lights. I want to, if I don't tell Urufai happy birthday, it means I am not his fan. I'm his fan, and I love him. And I'm praying that anybody, any government that will come against him for what the, the truth is saying, I don't know what I say. I'm not hanging on you. Happy birthday, my dear friend. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Bye bye. I'm mad you are still here. You do I beg you. No, I saw that prayer yet. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, the line went off. Please, please call back. And um, uh, it, it's nice to have you all join us this morning. Good morning. Turn down the volume on your radio set. I don't think my partner here is very lenient when he hears our sound. Pew. Otilo, are you there? Yeah, hello, I do. I do. I know. Okay, good morning, your name. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Okay, go ahead. Ah, I was happy. I slept well. I only see. I only see. Yes. 
band it, leave it, it's okay. Leave it for us like that. <laughs> Your line is a bit crackly, I can't hear you very well. Uh, yeah, now I don't know what to do. Mm. People should stop calling people you. Okay, go ahead now. I think people should stop coming people here yeah, concerning the level party. They have the OT here. Yeah. They have the National Working Committee. So mm. they have people that will settle matters. It's not people here. People here enter there to as presidential candidates and they do the job very well. The one for them a uh, house of assembly and get with their own government. Get the house of the they have. It's not the, not the president of Nigeria. They should allow people here. They don't want people to level party. That one can find them. People did not run from Abga because of a crisis. He left Abga because uh, Abga is only an Ambara state. But he wanted to run for president. That was why he left Abga and joined PDP. And in PDP, they, they, they were giving money. Then he had to leave them because he paid him not to pay for the money. But he wants a good process. He don't want a corrupt process. So that's what he should be accusing people of. Okay. The authorities in the party know what to do to do not have you. You know how to take him to court. All right, the time is up. All right, thank you, thank you. And um, uh, the advance said you, was it uh, a day that wrote that? Well, and uh, this to let you know that the head of corporate affairs, EKEDC, will be our guest sometime this week on VOP. I'm sure he'll be able to answer your questions. I'm sure you can complain as much as you want to him. Good morning. Your Excellency, Madam Speaker. I greet you, uh, Mr. Rome. This Without the Martins boy. attached. That's your boy. You see, um, happy birthday to uh, Rufayo Sedi, and um, I wish him every good luck. Uh, mm -hmm. a, a good, smart guy like him desire. But please, one thing that's an implication. It, 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 that's an implication. He understand that. Good uh, luck. You see, okay, send yeah, the implication. We are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you see, leave Peter will be. That guy no be political office holder. I mean, he's always in the news. He's a very, very lucky guy, getting cheap publicity. S secondly, you see, it's important for people to understand what I hear government around the world say is this. The power, the ability of an economy to recover is, the, is dependent on the purchasing power of the people that live within that economic location. Now, the purchasing power of Nigerians have been diminished drastically by these guys and you keep putting more uh uh strength i mean more pressure on them so this is not the way for economic recovery if the government in power understand that they will know in i can tarry right now is a disastrous move thank you very much thank you so much remy have a beautiful day let's take the last set of messages new id card this is a visionary government seems to confuse people they seem so confused. People are hungry, they are unsafe without electricity, high cost of cooking gas and petrol, costly costs of living, joblessness here and there, and so on and so forth. You took Naira Valley from 700 to 19, then down to 12, and you expect an applause or oh, Diego. Bring it to 400 and we will clap for you. Uh, uh, you say Free Namdekano, where is Le Lea Shraibu? Chijoke from a solo. The birthday boxing day boxing day is here. <laughs> Good morning, Ma. Happy birthday to our boss Rufai and our Adaigbo. And God give them more wisdom. Amen to them. Uh, to that rather. Good morning, Cordelia. I want to wish happy birthday to Rufai Oseni. This is perpetual from Isheri Idimu. And finally, I see I have some of yours here. Um, Teddy, you say happy birthday to our erudite Rufai. We wish him a lifetime of joy and happiness. May God grant our dreams of a better Nigeria. Enjoy your day. Where is Mercy, uh, Mary on IFA? Debbie, this, um, well, she's moved on to other things, better things, and please wish her the very best to change it. Tim, happy birthday, Rufai, the only best journalist in Nigeria. Adi, will I look your hand, cake, no day. No, after the program now. Not tell I, me say, I, I, item seven day after the program. Not tell me say now, Oba, you bring. I don't want to hear you that. You don't like Oba. <laughs> mm, I bring the local cake. What is that? No, don't Okwa. Mm, you don't like Okwa? 
I chine okay. What kind of place? Better is? item seven day after the program. Don't stress yourself. Please, I've recorded it. Say it again. I said better item seven day after yeah. this program. Okay, it's on record. Yes, it's on record. It's on record. Do you know what? Talk the, to me. The, 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 the president has just entered Lagos for the Ide victory celebration. Me to go which plenty. Is, which is Tuesday. Mm, rice and stew, very plenty. Hi. He even called me that he's coming to do bed day for me. So he called I'm just you. expect yes, I'm I'm expecting the the time president. he wanted to tell you where it's coming. That was when they woke you up, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not dreamy it's not dreamy. but there's a question i want to ask ask now me. that we are talking about band a band b band c now where uh president is staying now at body or any other place in lagos which band is he using they're on a band a plus okay you don't add plus one uh, because now nah, band a plus oh god the top i did tell you <laughs> that they don't even know because even if this one off that one we off anyway uh, like the in house of the major, he mm, brought they in the boski, he no even need band, he no need band, he's, ba he's bandless, his yellow alone will brighten up the whole area. Mm, you know, mm. they don't repair on a transformer, yes, no, ah. they've done, <laughs> their they have done their transformer. <laughs> I have to go now. Thank you very much for being with me today on the front page. And happy birthday again to Rufai Biodun. Thank you for taking charge of all these technical bits. I'll be back at 9.30. We'll see, take a look at some of the things in the papers and other things being equal still talk autism because it's the Awareness Month. I'm Cordelia Obe. Have a beautiful morning. I leave you with Adibo and Kashmir. Enjoy your time with them.